Good afternoon. It's about 1230 when we are recording this. Uh, it says sunny and 30 over Columbia. Looks a bit gray here on the KMIZ studio camera. We're right on that verge of seeing a little bit of clearing uh, as we head into the afternoon. We're kind of seeing this cold front roll through right here and we're looking at well, it's kind of hard to tell if you just look at it still, but if you put it in a loop, you'll see, well, we've got some snowpack there and some lingering cloud cover here. But the fact that we can see the snowpack means that we're seeing some clearing skies to our northwest. We're going to see that translate further towards the southeast as the snow pushes that direction as well. We're seeing generally the majority of that leaving our viewing area. The snow is going to be melting pretty quickly. Uh, tomorrow we're in the 30s, but we're back in the 60s for Sunday, and we're going to carry that 60s all the way through the first half of the week until we climb into the 70s as we head towards the end of next week and then we see another dip towards the weekend but still uh, really seasonal or above seasonal is what we're looking at for about the next seven days. Clearing skies again is what we're expecting tonight. Uh, we'll see temperatures drop out of the 30s pretty quickly into the teens by early tomorrow. Cold settling in nicely as this Arctic high drops in from the north. It'll keep winds fairly calm as well until we get to Saturday afternoon and evening where we're starting to see more of these wet red streamlines pick up and that'll bring in more warmth not in time to save our temperatures for Saturday but it will set us up nicely for Sunday so Sunday we're seeing temperatures starting in the low 30s maybe mid 30s and then we jump from there back into the upper 50s and low 60s for highs we're warming very quickly for Sunday Monday we're talking our next chance for rain uh, we're really looking dry until then Monday morning looks like we'll stay dry but we will pick up a front that passes through that'll bring us a chance for some shade showers there. Otherwise, we're looking at a generally dry next seven days and a warm seven days as well. Beyond seven days, six to ten, we're looking at generally above average temperatures still coming down the pipeline. As we head into the next two weeks, the next eight to 14 days, we kind of stay in that above average zone. So just a broad forecast, but that's what we're generally looking at. Here's a look at snow reports from the last uh, 24 hours. Uh, if you're curious, that's roughly what we're looking at. Sedalia, kind of an oddball out there, but if you take a look at what we're seeing uh, in Sweet Springs and Boonville, they're a little bit closer to that seven inch mark. But overall, the next seven days, again, as I mentioned, warm. We're gonna see a lot of that snow start to melt. Chance for showers on Monday, and then the warmth continues into the end of next week.